Yeah, hi. I am Dr. Amit Maidev and I am the chairman of the Institute of Gastro Sciences at the Sir H N Reliance Foundation Hospital. And I am going to talk to you today on a very interesting organ of the human body, and that is the pancreas. The pancreas is considered to be as the one of the most intriguing organs of the human body. It is supposed to be a very unpredictable organ. and in layman's terminology and even in some doctors terminology the pancreas is also called as the sleeping tiger of the abdomen all of us know that the abdomen is like a pandora's box or is like a magician's box and it contains almost 20 different types of organs which are uh, working along with each other to perform the function of digestion in the human body now if the pancreas gets inflamed because of any reason and it causes a severe amount of uh, symptoms and it can lead to various types of complications normally we see three different types of pancreatic inflammation or what we call as pancreatitis just to tell you that any itis means inflammation for example itis of the stomach is gastritis itis of the colon is colitis similarly any inflammation of the pancreas is called pancreatitis so we have three basic types of pancreatitis which we see in our day to day life which can happen to some patients one is of course acute pancreatitis second is chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic stones and third is recurrent acute pancreatitis now pancreas as i told you is not only a very intriguing organ but it is a very important organ pancreas is located in the abdomen but it is located towards the back it is located very deep inside and the pancreas has got the main function of production of insulin and it also causes production of uh, digestive enzyme which is called pancreatic juice which is comes comes out in the pancreatic juice so there are two very important functions of the pancreas one is homeostasis that is control of the sugar that we eat which gets converted properly because of the insulin which is secreted in the pancreas and second of course the pancreas produces another juice which is a very strong enzyme which contains uh, special types of material or special types of uh, digestive enzymes to digest protein fats as well as carbohydrates now because of any reason if this pancreas becomes inflamed what happens is some amount of this severely potent digestive enzyme leaks out of the pancreas and that causes damage to the surrounding tissues now first let us come to the topic of acute pancreatitis acute pancreatitis happens when because of some injury or some insult to the pancreas the pancreas gets severely inflamed Now, as I told you, pancreas is the sleeping tiger of the abdomen. So, if the pancreas gets severely inflamed, that tiger wakes wakes up and it starts eating away the organs which are surrounding it. One of the common causes of severe acute pancreatitis is alcohol, and alcohol, even in the smallest of dosage, can cause damage to the pancreas. However, most of the patients can tolerate small doses of alcohol or small amounts of alcohol, but some patients are susceptible to alcohol and in some people who drink a very high quantity of alcohol or binges of alcohol it can lead to severe acute pancreatitis and once this happens the juice leaks out it can cause involvement of the surrounding organs it can lead to stoppage of other organs like the kidneys the intestines sometimes even the lungs and therefore the patient goes and becomes very very sick the patient needs to be admitted in the icu and to solve these issues which have happened happened because of acute pancreatitis then it can take some time the patient may need hospitalization for sometimes weeks or months together for the patient to recover so it's very very important to look after the pancreas to make sure that we don't have any insulting substances or in our uh, ingestion of alcohol has to be limited or ideally none so that the pancreas can be saved of course there are some other things which can also lead to acute pancreatitis for example 
if there are increased lipids in your blood, if so the triglyceride level of the blood is extremely high, that can also cause acute pancreatitis. Certain drugs can lead to acute pancreatitis. Certain medications can lead to acute pancreatitis. And uh, sometimes even if there is a small tumor or adenoma of the parathyroid gland, which secretes too much of parathormone, that can also lead to acute pancreatitis. So acute pancreatitis is something which one needs to be worried about and uh, it requires immediate hospitalization, it requires conservative care and very very rarely it may need some interventional techniques like endoscopic intervention or even surgical intervention. The next and very very common which we see in our country is chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic stones. Now, this has been shown that over the last many decades that in our country and in other countries which are in the peri-equatorial region, uh, we have found that there is some form of genetic mutation. This is commonly seen in our country in various states of the country where because of genetic mutation, the juice that is getting produced in the pancreas becomes too thick and the protein content of that juice increases so much that that juice cannot flow and because it cannot flow, those protein, it forms plugs, it gets blocked inside the pancreatic duct and then what happens is on those protein plugs, some calcium goes and gets deposited and that protein plug gets converted to a pancreatic stone. Now this is very commonly seen in India, it is almost endemic. There are many states in our country like Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Karnataka. Nowadays we are also seeing in northern states like New Delhi and other places, various other places in northern India where large chunks of population, they develop severe pancreatic pain, mainly because where the stones are getting blocked inside the pancreatic duct and then the pancreas gets swollen. But this is not acute pancreatitis because these patients who have got a genetic mutation, these patients develop small, small episodes of pancreatic inflammation because of which the pancreatic gland starts becoming hard and therefore, in these patients who develop pancreatic stones or chronic pancreatitis, because the pancreatic gland starts becoming hard, it reduces its production of insulin and also reduces the production of the digestive pancreatic juice. Because of which, many patients who have chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic stones, they develop diabetes because they have reduced insulin secretion because there is a damage to the beta cells of the pancreas. And because of reduced pancreatic juice production, these patients also start having weight loss and they cannot digest fats, proteins and carbohydrates well and the stool starts becoming oily. So now what do we do? As far as acute pancreatitis is concerned, it is very commonly treated by only medical treatment. These patients usually require a proper care. We are, therefore, we have a pancreas center here at the HN Reliance Foundation Hospital where these patients have acute pancreatitis, pancreatic stones are all treated. Acute pancreatitis is treated usually either in the ward or in the ICU until the pancreas starts recovering. And once the pancreas starts recovering, then we try to find out the cause why the acute pancreatitis occurred. And then we start treating the cause. Another, tree, another one of important reasons for the cause of acute pancreatitis is of course gallstones. In some patients who have got gallbladder stones, Along with that, they also have some mud inside the gallbladder and because we know that the bile duct which is coming from the liver is opening at the same location where the pancreas is opening. So if any stone from the gallbladder comes down or even any mud from the gallbladder comes down, it gets blocked at the opening and the pancreas gets inflamed and that can also lead to acute pancreatitis. So the treatment of acute pancreatitis is usually medical. It is usually given in the ward or in the ICU. Very rarely it requires a surgical intervention. But for chronic pancreatitis, where the gland is hard and the stones are causing the problem, which is very common in our country, nowadays we treat them by a wonderful non-surgical technique by which we call it a shockwave lithotripsy. And by using the latest shockwave lithotripsy machine, what we do is, without any surgical incision, without the patient undergoing any cut on the body, from outside itself, we can blast and pulverize these pancreatic stones into complete powder. Once this is done, the obstruction in the pancreatic duct opens up and the patient's pain episodes subside or sometimes completely disappear. And once these pancreatic stones are completely pulverized, what we do is we pass in an endoscope through the mouth, 
reach the pancreatic ductal orifice and go in the pancreas and clear the duct completely. So this is how we treat patients of chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic stones. In addition to that, we give these patients insulin to rectify their reduction in the insulin and their diabetes. And we also give the patients pancreatic enzyme supplement so that their digestion starts happening properly and the patient's weight starts regaining. The third is recurrent acute pancreatitis, which can happen because of various congenital abnormalities. But for this, what is important is that we investigate these patients by doing various investigations like X-ray or MRCP or MRI and sometimes an internally performed sonography, which is called as endosonography. And once we have diagnosed the cause of the recurrent acute pancreatitis, we can treat it very effectively. So therefore, the main message which I want to convey is the pancreas is a very, very important organ of the human body, but it is an organ which is an unpredictable organ. And as far as possible, we should try to do things by which we don't damage the pancreas. But if we, there is any issue with the pancreas, now there are excellent non-surgical modalities by which we can diagnose as well as treat either acute pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis, or even uh, recurrent acute pancreatitis. We have to remember that there is one sleeping tiger inside your abdomen and that is the pancreas. So be uh, very, very wary of this organ and make sure that we don't do anything by which we can, we will damage this organ or we wake up this sleeping tiger.